After starting Victory Sports Medicine in 2001, Dr. Mark Petropoli says he's outgrown his space on the west side of Skinny Atlas and that his teamwork philosophy of sports medicine needs more than just a little room. These programs take a lot of space and you can't just have people running and jumping around and doing training programs without having a lot of space. So it does require a lot of space to have an indoor facility. It requires a lot of space to do these activities outdoors. In January of 2009, he bought 99 acres on Skinny Atlas's east side near Route 20 to develop a multi-use Victory Campus, a medical research facility equipped with fields for rehabilitation and community use. But that's come with opposition, as the citizens to preserve the rural character of Skinny Atlas think the proposal is too big for their small town. Developers going to have real difficulties because it is so different from what the community at large feels it should be. This field has been controversial in the past as well as both a strip mall and a bus garage are both proposed here at one time but didn't pan out with a big influence from that citizens group and something else that's controversial about this field other than the wellness center itself is that Victory Sports wants 90 foot lights to help light the fields and that's something that the citizens group isn't too happy about. On the area are very concerned about the glare uh, and the creeping light that's going to come into their neighborhoods. While Dr. Petropoli says they've done studies disputing the light's impact, the citizens group thinks the lights are the first domino in this fight. And if the town allows those lights to exceed the 20-foot zoning limit, the complex will be that much closer to being built. Reporting from Skinny Atlas, I'm Tom Eschen.